What's up guys, how's it going? Today we're going to learn how to draw a tentacle, a uh, octopus uh, tentacle. This isn't going to be one of those, you know, anatomy uh, lessons of an animal. I'm just going to draw a representation of, a, you know, tentacle and cartoons and things of that sort. So, today what I'm going to use is, I'm going to have a pencil here, and I'm also going to have a Sharpie marker. The pencil's a number two pencil, same thing you take tests with. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a tentacle. Uh, essentially, it's just a long sliver. A long tapering sliver. Slowly tapers as it goes down. Even that, that's a little too... I'm going to shorten that up there a little bit. I'm going to thin that out a bit because it's a, it was a little bit bigger there. Okay, so we have the tentacle. So, you can draw the little uh, suction cups on it. And the way they're formed, they are essentially little spheres. Uh, sorry, not spheres, little circles. You know, they look kind of like, if you flatten them out, they look like this, right? Little suction cups. The thing is, when this suction cup, when it turns away, it's going to change shape. Let me draw this bigger so you can see. So, here's, let's say, a representation of one of the suction cups on the octopus's tentacle. When it turns to the left, it's going to slowly turn away from us. And let me, let me use this button as an example. When it turns away from us, it's going to seem thinner. So, all of a sudden, it's going to change shape. It's gonna become more of a more of an oval. And if it turns even more, these are gonna become sideways. You know? If you look at this button the way it turns into space, just take note of that. And that's kind of the way it's gonna be on the tentacle. Uh we're just gonna draw him with two. We're gonna draw him with this one's this tentacle slightly turned, and then the other one is completely turned. Or almost completely turned. You see? This one's facing a little bit more to us. What I'm gonna draw is I'm gonna draw a very thin line that only I can see. I mean maybe you can see it too, but I'm drawing it very thin as a guideline. And I'm gonna draw all my uh, all my ellipses along this guideline and they're all going to be more or less slowly uh, shrinking in size as they go down but I'm going to be thinking about how space turns and how the circle would turn you know as if he had a quarter a thick quarter on there or a button on there on the tentacle surface. I think it's small over here. It's going really small up there. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. It's going to make almost a shape because it's so far turned away from us. You're going to see the, uh, the kind of negative space between the suction cups. See how it's more turned away? Imagine that button on there. Because remember, the tentacle is, is cylindrical, you know? It's round. It's like a... What it is is essentially it's a, a lot of... Uh, it's just a lot of... Imagine, you know, it's got like... A, imagine a stack of cans all encompassing this shape, you know what I mean? If you break this up. You know what I mean? They're all um, cylinders. They're all cylinders. It's made up of cylinders, essentially. Sorry about that. I'm a little tongue-tied today. 
So because it's cylindrical, anything you put on that surface is going to change the way it looks as it goes around it. It's going to be lying down on top of it. It's going to drape over it. All right. And the suction, suction cups do have uh, kind of a 3D uh, shape to them. They're going to be popping out a little bit. Add the detail. You can add the little suction cups on here. I'm just drawing quick little lines. It's almost a shorthand. And then you can draw a smaller circle inside to indicate that there's a thickness to it. And there is a slight color differentiation on a lot of these. You could uh, draw that along with it. Or just put a single line because this is line art. And it's going to divide the part that gets sun from the uh, kind of squishiness below. Messed up that line right there. I'm trying to put a thick line around it to kind of contain the shapes. When you have a lot of shapes going all over the place inside an object, whatever that is, it's a good idea to put a slightly thicker line uh, around the contour of it. That it kind of, for whatever reason, it seems to organize it. It just contains a lot of the complicated shapes inside. All right, and that's um, a shorthand for a tentacle that uh, I can draw in cartoons or maybe in uh, your monster illustrations. Uh, could be more detailed in monster illustrations, uh, but I mean for uh, cartoonified <coughs> uh, tentacle, that's kind of the the sh the process I use. So let me just go over it really fast. Uh, you can draw it in any shape or form. Remember that. Draw a shape. You can think of it as a bunch of cylinders or a cone, a really long, like a cone that kind of comes to a tip. Uh, remember that part? The suction cups along it. I draw. I usually draw two, uh, two ten, uh, two rows of suction cups along the uh, along the tentacle itself. And uh, that's about it, pretty much. Sorry, I was really tongue-tied today. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, if you have any questions below, let me know if you have something else you want uh, me to draw. That's a cartoon tentacle. Thanks a lot, guys.